Welcome to the fascinating world of the Nazca Lines. These ancient wonders etched into the soils of Peru have intrigued historians and archaeologists since their discovery in the 1920s. Imagine, if you will, sprawling designs spanning across the desert, so large that their full glory can only be appreciated from the sky. What purpose did they serve? Who created them? The answers to these questions remain shrouded in enigma. Unraveling the mysteries of these giant geoglyphs is what Mysterious History aims to do today. Welcome to Mysterious History, your gateway to the enigmatic past. We are dedicated to unraveling the world's most intriguing historical mysteries, unearthing tales that have been shrouded in the sands of time. Today, we delve into the mysterious world of the Nazca Lines. The Nazca Lines created between 500 BC and AD 500 are a sight to behold. This elaborate network of lines etched into the Peruvian desert was masterfully crafted by the ancient Nazca civilization. But how exactly did they create these awe-inspiring designs that stretch across miles of desert terrain? Well, the Nazca people were ingenious architects who used their intimate knowledge of the local environment to their advantage. The surface of the Nazca desert is covered in a layer of reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles. Beneath this layer, the soil is much lighter in color, almost a chalky white. To create the lines, the Nazca people would carefully remove these red pebbles, revealing the lighter earth beneath. The contrast between the dark stones and the lighter soil creates a striking image, visible from great heights above the desert floor. Creating these lines wasn't a task undertaken lightly. It required a deep understanding of the land and a meticulous attention to detail. The Nazca people would first sketch out their designs on a smaller scale and then transfer them onto the desert floor. They used simple tools such as wooden stakes and lengths of cord to ensure the lines were straight and the shapes were accurate. But it's not just the lines themselves that are impressive. It's the scale. Some of these geoglyphs stretch out over 600 feet across the desert. Creating designs of this magnitude that are coherent when viewed from the sky is a testament to the Nazca people's understanding of perspective and scale. The Nazca lines are more than just beautiful works of art. They're an enduring mystery, a snapshot of an ancient civilization's creativity and ingenuity. These lines etched into the desert hundreds of years ago continue to captivate us, pulling us back in time to an era where people communicated with their gods through the earth itself. The Nazca Lines are a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the ancient Nazca civilization. The purpose of the Nazca Lines has baffled historians and archaeologists for decades. These colossal geoglyphs etched into the desert floor in Peru have sparked a multitude of theories, each as captivating and perplexing as the next. One of the most prevalent theories suggests that the Nazca Lines were used for religious ceremonies. The sheer scale of the geoglyphs, some of which are up to 200 yards long, could imply that they were designed to be seen by divine beings in the sky. This theory is bolstered by the fact that many of the designs depict animals, which were often associated with deities in ancient cultures. Another theory proposes that the Nazca lines served as an astronomical calendar. By aligning with the sun, moon and stars at certain times of the year, the lines could have marked important dates or events. This idea is supported by the precision and complexity of the geoglyphs, which would have required advanced knowledge of astronomy. Then there's the theory that the Nazca lines were messages to the gods. They could have been pleas for rain, given that the Nazca region is one of the driest places on earth, or expressions of gratitude for a bountiful harvest. Some researchers even speculate that the lines might have served as pathways for spiritual journeys, guiding the Nazca people toward their deities. Despite the compelling nature of these theories, none have been definitively proven. Each offers a glimpse into the possible motivations behind the creation of the Nazca lines, but the truth remains elusive. While these theories provide fascinating insights, the true purpose of the Nazca lines remains one of history's greatest mysteries. The Nazca lines with their intricate designs and enormous scale continue to captivate and puzzle us. These giant geoglyphs etched into the desert sands of southern Peru centuries ago remain a testament to the ingenuity and artistic flair of the Nazca people. Their creation, an impressive feat of prehistoric engineering, has left us with more questions than answers. From their construction methods to their intended purpose, the Nazca lines are shrouded in mystery. Various theories have been proposed ranging from astronomical calendars to alien runways, yet none have definitively solved this ancient enigma. The line's resilience to the elements and time itself only adds to their allure, 
making them a fascinating subject of study for historians and archaeologists alike. But the true beauty of the Nazca Lines lies not in their solution, but in their enduring mystery. They invite us to ponder, to question, and to marvel at the wonders of our shared human past. As they continue to watch over the desert, silent and enigmatic, they serve as a reminder of the countless mysteries still waiting to be uncovered in our world's rich history. What are your thoughts on the Nazca Lines? Comment below and if you enjoyed this journey into the past like this video and subscribe to Mysterious History for more intriguing historical mysteries.